ones that could potentially be used to house Syrian families. It's not just sort of um, houses that are for people that are waiting on the housing list, tenants that are waiting on the housing list. Shireen Muqtadir, I'm at Howell Fittish, on a building in Britannia, to put the Syrian residents in there. But for now, all of this is a situation. There are still too many unanswered questions. Which towns and cities will resettle the refugees? And what about the cost? The money for the refugees' first year in Britain will come from the government aid budgets. And then what? Apart from the number now raised to 20,000, there is still very little information. What's clear is that the country stands kind of ready and willing to do more. The challenge is where are the channels? Had a citizen in UK, George Gabriel, شغال على أن يجيب اللاجئين السوريين. هذا كان معنا في الاجتماع في مارش 2015. أذار ونيسان. أي في ناس عم تقدم بيوتها اللي تحط فيها اللاجئين. عم يروحوا للبلديات ويقولوا نحن نستعمل بيتنا. وهي امرأة بنورج مستعدة تستعمل بيتها لتستقبل لاجئين سوريين. Sky News has spoken to volunteers across the country, all prepared to give up space in their own homes. يعطوا غرفة أو غرفتين في بيتهم لبعض اللاجئين السوريين. رح يجيبوهم لبنان. Not to say that they wouldn't be welcome. It's really nice that people are offering all the services, but do they really want a family that they don't know in their house for six months or a year or a year and a half or two years? The government will be aware that public goodwill is turning to frustration, but today could see more details emerging of exactly how it will resettle and support Syrian refugees. يعني كل واحد بيدي روح على البلدية تبعيته ويقول للكونسل أنا بقدر ساعد أنا بعرف في ناس بروبرتي ديفلوبرز ناس عندهم بيوت ناس عندهم مكان مستعدين يأجروها لهؤلاء اللاجئين هدول عم يساووا افلام ممثلين مشهورين عم يقولوا لازم تجيبوا ناس اكثر بنديكت كامبر باتش عم يضغط على الحكومه البريطانيه لحتى تجيب اطفال الى بريطانيا عم يقول ايها اللاجئين احنا حنساعدكم حنجي نضغط اكثر على الحكومات لكي نستقبل اللاجئين آلاف كل يوم عم يجي على اليونان The next leg of their journey, you can see some people also sheltering the lee of one of the ferries that's here. The problem in Lesbos at the start of the week was there simply were not enough ferries to take those people who've been processed, and not enough people being processed as well. That's now being solved, at, well, at least partially solved. Administratively, they are processing and fingerprinting more people. They're allowing them the onward journey to uh, the Greek mainland itself, and there are more of these ferries as well. Uh, this one's been birthed here for some hours. You can see on the back rails at the stern of the ship some of those people who have made it on board there. They will then move on to Piraeus, to Athens, and then overland, different routes really, but they will certainly be channeled up through countries like Hungary. And we were in Hungary uh, this week, two or three days in Hungary, and we saw some of the problems that the refugees are facing there in terms of moving through the countryside. Um, we saw, for instance, just to give you some sense, a flavour of what we saw, we saw one young child, six or seven, just wandering along the hard, the outer lane. 4,000 شخص يأتون من من تركيا إلى لسبوس في اليونان. They've been clipped by a motorist. Uh, two or three people were injured. Just little vignettes, really, giving you a sense of the... وسجلوا 20,000 لاجئ. خلال اليومين الماضيين لحتى يستمروا يسافروا الى اوروبا فعم يسجلوهم الان قانونيا يعني في اليونان لحتى يوصلوا لالمانيا بامان وسلام 
You get these spasms from the government uh, as they try to impose uh, and assert some kind of order. The Hungarians, in particular, ما زال آلاف وآلاف من الناس يسيرون من هنغاريا إلى ألمانيا سيرا على الأقدام. To a very great degree, all roads do lead to Germany and to a lesser extent to Sweden as well. A hundred migrants, refugees arriving every single hour in Germany, far away from the blue waters of the GNC. كل ساعة مئات من اللاجئين يصلون إلى ألمانيا. هذه آخر الأخبار.